it's time for another food drive to McDowell County, West Virginia, which has been referred to as the poorest county in America. Although it's a five-hour drive from Leesburg, Virginia, time goes by quickly. I can't help but to feel as though there's an underlying spiritual journey in process, and I'm doing what I should be doing, helping others. The drive to McDowell County is beautiful, with mountain views and lush green fields, as well as a few very steep roads up the mountains. I prefer to drive the truck myself, since it brings me closer to the project and the people we serve. Our plan was to make two stops before arriving at our main event at Powhatan Sacred Heart Church. Our first stop was Arnie and Kathy at the Edmund Food Pantry, followed by Father Binney at the St. Peter's Church in Welch. It is truly an honor to be of service to the wonderful people of the Appalachian region. It's a beautiful area filled with beautiful people. The Appalachian culture is something that could teach us a lot about how to live a successful life. So the mountains are beautiful, the people are beautiful, and we wouldn't live any place else having lived here now for 20 years. Unfortunately, in all this beauty and all this wonder of God, poverty is very high. This area was entirely supported and grew as a result of coal mining. But now coal is in a decline. And so we've lost more than half our population from 50,000 to 20,000 uh, from people leaving to find jobs. So we've lost folks that are educated and skilled. And what happens is many of our folks have given up. They feel, what's the use? Uh, yeah, there are no jobs, why bother? And part of our job is not only to supply needed food or needed appliances or needed help with utility bills. Further goal of what we do is to show folks that, see, yes, there are things you can do. You can work on fixing your, your bathroom floor. You can do a variety of things to help get you out of this dependency. We certainly take care, as best as we're able, to the immediate needs that come up with people. And then we try to work with them in different ways. So we work together on helping them become a bit more independent. I would like to thank especially Richard and uh, both of you for coming here in this McDowell County and uh, doing your good works, the charitable work. Serving humanity, serving God. I'm sure that the people will benefit from this. My special prayers for you all, and God bless you all to continue the work which you are doing. And I request everyone to help the people around, those who are suffering, those who are in need. When you ask where does our help and support come from, we see immediately it's from wonderful people in the community, especially the community outside of West Virginia, where most of our funding comes from. Folks like Richard that see something that catches their eye and they realize some folks are struggling and people who, who get that know immediately what their responsibility is. is. They need to help out and Richard has helped out immensely.
It's a question of seeing a need, seeing people struggling, seeing people going hungry, seeing children being cold at night, and not turning their back, but reaching out their hands to actually help. We could not make it without folks like Richard and many other organizations that are scattered throughout the eastern part of the United States. He's the youngest boy. She's the youngest girl. The people around here, they consider everybody family. And people will go out of their way to try and help you if they can. If not, they will try and find somebody. They start getting on phones and start calling people. You know, if there's a family that's in need of something, they all come together and they try and help that family out. The event is incredible. Everybody is happy. All the work was worth it. People keep saying thank you, but in reality, it's all of us that's getting so much more than the people who are actually receiving. I could speak from my own personal experience. Like as a business owner, this was one of the best investments uh, that I have made in a long time. Coming out here and helping people directly So one of my favorite things about being involved in this has been watching the whole community come together. We worked alongside the Good Shepherd Alliance in Loudoun County and uh, they did a wonderful job of getting men's suits together and hand knit blankets. Richards managed to unite a lot of people who are constantly in motion and get them to work together for something that makes a difference in other people's lives. So. I've been honored to be able to, to help. It's been a lovely day to meet new friends in McDowell County. This is my second trip to McDowell. I came in 2019 with the team. They are just so great people here. It took a lot of work for Leesburg to gather up all the items over the last month, but it turned out well. We had a beautiful day. First time coming down here to McDowell, working with ProJet and Richard to be able to have this, this event, um, this ability to give back is just amazing. I've met some incredible people, probably one of the best things I've ever done. Yes, today was a good turnout. I'm glad that they hollered at me, you know, to help do this, this little function right here. And I hope they be back pretty soon. And I hope they had, we had more people to come up. So, but anyway, God bless and I, I'm happy they came. Many folks who are in poverty are ignored and do feel that no one cares. So our job is not just important need of their particular day, but that somebody cares. I've met a lot of people say that they would do stuff for the community. And then a lot of times they would back out. But Richard, I found out that what he says, he means. And he goes to any lengths to try and help. So I would like to try and, and say thank you to Richard for this community that we thank him from the bottom of our hearts for what he has done and what he is doing for this community and for me and for my family. Lord, we thank you for everything you've done for us. If it wasn't for you, Lord, on our side, where would we be, Lord? When we leave this world, Lord, give us a home in your kingdom, Lord. Richard has been so wonderful to work with. 
I'm flabbergasted at the amount of stuff, especially clothes, that he brought down. Um, it's, it's just been great. Um, usually we close at 1230 and we have gotten rid of 60, 65 boxes. There's still people all over the place out there. As long as people are coming, I'm going to stay. One thing that our food pantry is going to benefit from this is we have gotten so many new people. Uh, I've been trying to get everybody in this little community here at the church to come and today they came and so um, I'm hoping they'll come back every month so that we can you know continue to serve them. We need another industry to bring in jobs and somebody somewhere has to start working on that. 20% or one in five of our residents are over the age of 65. And then we probably have another 10% of population, if not 20%, that are disabled. There could be as many as 20% of the folks here who have not finished high school. Less than 5% of the population here has a, any college credit. Everyone with a college degree, if they could not get a job teaching here, is gone. So that's been our drawback. An aging population and a young population who is not able to get jobs because the jobs are not here. And unfortunately, what we've not mentioned up to this point, drug abuse. Uh, West Virginia, the state, has led the nation, unfortunately, in overdose deaths and drug abuse. And this area is perhaps even, has the highest percentage of, prob of folks who are uh, having problematic times with drugs. McDowell County is one of the most poverty-stricken, low-income, uh, counties in the country and they've struggled. They've struggled through good times and bad times. They've been left behind by several administrations. Uh, they've been promised many things that haven't happened and so we felt like as one of the wealthiest counties in the country we should be able to do something about that and being in aviation also gives us a vehicle to do that so um, we're able to um, open up some of the airport space for donations to load those things and take them on a truck and we're also able to deploy several aircraft to go down with manpower to help distribute those things and it just feels really good to make a difference. In 2019, that was our first year really going down and meeting people and forming relationships with those folks. And I think we were all touched at how appreciative they were, um, how proud they are, how willing to work with us they are, and they're just so thankful. And now that we've been there and done it, we have a better idea of what the needs truly are and how better to prepare to help fill some of those gaps for them. Don't forget about us. We built this country. The coal that came here is the kind of coal they used to make steel that made all the skyscrapers, the airplanes, anything that's made out of steel. It came from McDowell County and it's been forgotten.
This was a group effort. It wasn't just, you know, one individual or a couple of people. This was a group of people that came together to make this happen. And the values are shared. So everybody feels good doing the work and getting it done and, and seeing it um, come to fruition. Love you guys. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, God, for giving me the ability to be able to do something for others. Thank you for introducing me to the wonderful, gracious, and proud people of the Appalachian region. Thank you for all the amazing and kind people who devoted their time and hard work to make this trip a success. Who would have guessed that my life would turn around so much that I would one day be able to help others. I started with nothing. My family and I fled a war and lost everything in 1979. We arrived in America in 1984 with just $35. Growing up was hard. I struggled. But recently, a lot of great things have been happening to me. Today, I'm living the dream. And it can happen for you too. Despite the odds, you can do it too. So don't ever give up. Thank you.